how valuable was it to get a true road win under your belt? You know, I was so proud of our team. Uh, Minnesota was an unbelievable environment, a great team. Um, it was going back and forth, so uh, glad that we came out victorious, but I thought we took a step forward and really grew up on the road. As you look you know, through eight games this season for you guys, uh, you talked about early on, uh, you wanted to play fast, you have the bodies to do it now. Um, just how easier is it this time of year compared to around this time last year, just having the bodies in the depth to be able to do the things you want to do? You know, that's what I'm excited about this team, the versatility, the depth, the talent that we have. We can play so many different lineups. We have people come in and can make different plays um, offensively and defensively. So it's good to look down the bench and actually see bodies. I like bodies and um, I'm happy with the team and where we are with our depth. Has Asia Petty surprised you at all so far? I like where Asia is. Um, you know, I thought she came in, she has a big body, very athletic, fits our style. I think our pace at the beginning was a shock to, our, shock to her system, um, but I think she's settled in and understanding her role. We need to be able to go inside and her finish consistently. And I think she has bought into that the last couple games, which really has helped our offense and she's playing well because of it. You have so many Kentucky players on this roster this year. Yeah. What does this rivalry game mean to them going into it? Well, obviously they're excited about it. You know, they grew up in the state of Kentucky. Um, it's a big game uh, because it's the next one on our schedule and it's the University of Louisville, but it's a pride. Um, them understanding what's at stake and what it means uh, to represent the state of Kentucky. Does this team eight games in, do they have an identity yet? Well, I think we're a work in progress, but I do think our identity does lay on the defensive side of the basketball. Uh, we're leading the, the conference in forced turnovers. Um, you know, our ability to change up our defense, uh, push the ball in transition. Um, but for me, uh, we are getting closer to where I want us to be. Hadn't reached the pinnacle yet, um, but I think our identity is showing um, right now. Also, is it, uh from your point of view for opposing teams having to deal with defensively Jada and, and Maddie on that side of the ball? Well, I like it. I'm glad they're both Wildcats, but you know, to be able to have two point guards on the floor um, at the same time, you know, Minnesota started trapping Maddie and Jada was just standing on the baseline. I was like, yes, just throw her the ball. So to be able to have them both on the floor um, and they bring us different looks. Um, Jada is downhill, all gas, no breaks. I'm going to finish at the rim. Where Maddie's like, I'm going to set you up, get you in a play, but I'm going to pick you apart if you uh, make a mistake defensively. So um, having both point guards on the floor has really helped us. Coach Waltz's teams are always ready to, to play. This year, what, what makes them so difficult? Yeah, Coach Walls is a great coach, obviously. He was my AAU coach. I like to uh, tease him and say that he got his start uh, with a great group of talented Kentucky girls, uh, the Kentucky Hustle. Um, but, you know, they play hard. They're extremely physical. Um, their ability to score inside and out, obviously, um, Haley, what she can do on the perimeter, Cochran inside. So their versatility, um, and they are very um, skilled offensively, their ability to, to score. With so many of those Kentucky girls on the roster, do they know about, I'm sure they know about the importance of this rivalry, but do they talk it up a little bit more going into this game too? Well, we hadn't been talking about it because we've been playing other teams, but um, you know, they do understand what it means. Uh, we'll start talking about it today because they're the next game on our schedule. Uh, but I don't think um, we need to talk to them about being pumped up and motivated to play when you have a group of Kentucky girls um, on the roster playing Louisville and also a group that's uh, maybe not from Kentucky, but they have a competitive spirit. So they want to play in big games and there will be one on Sunday. We haven't gotten a chance to talk to you too much since the Bahamas experience. How much do you think did that add to just chemistry of this team so far? You know, the Bahamas trip was great. Obviously, they love the sunshine, and uh, it was a business trip, but it allowed us also to have fun. Well, we got to go to the beach. Uh, they dressed up all the time. I would see them in passing on their free time, fully dressed. I'm like, what are you guys doing? They're like, we're having a photo shoot on the beach. So they had their own photo shoots. 
but it also gave us time to bond. You know, this business, it's pressure filled, stressed all the time, practicing. So to be able to let your hair down a little and just have fun with them, whether it's buying ice cream or laying by the beach, I thought that was a great bonding experience, but also basketball, you know, playing in that Virginia Tech game uh, against a top 25 team, um, you know, it showed us what we needed to continue to work on. So I thought it was very valuable. Will you guys practice at all in rut before Sunday or have you been in there since Big Blue Madness? Yes, we will practice in there before Sunday. And let's hope the shooting guys are with us. I, we're waiting for these threes to go down. It will be a good start to start on Sunday. There are obviously advantages to playing in rut in terms of publicity and marketing, things like that. If you had your druthers, would you just rather say in Memorial? Well, I love Memorial Coliseum. Um, it's, it's our home where we play and we've won a lot of games there and obviously the history, um, but it's also a great opportunity to play in Rupp. Um, it's just a different environment, a different feel. Uh, the players get excited. Um, so no matter where we play, we're gonna put the uniform on and we got to go out there and compete. What are you looking for in the next three weeks prior to the SEC season really getting into gear right now? What do you specifically want to see from your, your team? Uh, specifically, um, continue to compete. Um, also, offensively, uh, making sure we're executing at a high level in the half court. Um, you know, also people really honing in to their role and what it is that I bring every game to make this team better um, and just managing all of that. But um, I think we're in a good space and you continue to learn each game. Any other questions? Off, off topic, the uh, situation with Brittany Griner, do you have any thoughts on, on that? Well, I'm happy that she's home. Um, you know, that, that was a tough situation and no one wants to be there. I, I know everyone has their beliefs and views, but um, as a basketball coach who, um, you know, loves basketball players, I'm glad to see she's home and safe with her family. Thanks everybody. Blair, as a Kentucky girl, just what's it like to play against Louisville? What does it mean to you guys? Yeah, it's always a big game. It's a fun game with a lot of energy. We always have a big turnout and crowd at that Rupp Arena. So it's my last year. And yeah, just taking everything in, just playing with all my teammates. I think everyone gets really happy about this game. So it's a big game and it's a lot of good feels. How important was the win over Minnesota going into a game like this? Yeah, I thought it was a uh, great win. I mean, Minnesota's a great team. I thought they're really tough and athletic and they match us a lot. So we got to see transition offense really came at us and our defense was pretty good. And yeah, it was a great win. And I think it was a really good confidence booster for us. Definitely. Um, I feel like it was a great two-run game just to come in and play like a good team and not like a, a team at home that we know we can beat. It's just a tough matchup before going into Louisville. Blair, have you beaten Louisville in your time here? Yeah. I don't think we have beat Louisville um, the last couple years that I've been here for my career, but I would love to be sent out with a win against Louisville. Jamie, what do you remember from that, that game last year in, in Louisville? Um, and maybe you can answer too, but just uh, obviously you guys didn't have as many bodies as you have this year, um, and you guys still almost pulled that one out. Um, I felt like it was a great uh, learning experience for me, just like as a freshman to like experience a rivalry uh, my first year, um, even though I didn't play as much, just watching everyone else in front of me, um, how they played, and even though we didn't come out with the win um, this year, just taking what I learned from that game and actually applying it and being in the action of it and coming out with the win. Yeah, also just going off of that, I think we really had a great fight last year against that. I thought we brought everything that we had. I think what we lacked was just the start. So I think the start really just kind of got us in the hole, and I think one thing that we can take away from that just not only for this game coming up, but for all of our games moving forward is that we had to start, like it's our start what matters and just being consistent all the way through the game. Do you guys get excited to play at Rupp or is it just kind of another home game? Oh yeah, we get so excited to play at Rupp. We love Rupp. I think we always have a good crowd at Rupp and just a different vibe and just a different energy that everyone brings. And I know Rob is very excited to play at Rupp. She's been talking about it for a while. Yeah, definitely. And um, even though we don't get to play in our black jerseys, um, <laughs> we love playing that rope. So it's a, it's a great atmosphere. Big games are played there, and um, we just show up. So.
I'm sure you and the other Kentucky girls have talked about this game too. Just what does this matchup mean for you all specifically? Yeah, just um, a big robbery, robbery, but like we take every game, I think, about the same. Like we want every win. Uh, this is a huge game. They're such like they're a great team, and just pre prepare for this game and go out there and just like show everyone like what we're about. Um, just kind of give us some confidence and just play our hardest. I mean, that's what we got to do every game. But yeah, this game definitely stands out a little bit more. You guys some, some slow. You guys talked about starts early in the season. You guys are figuring each other out as a new team. Uh, you know, eight games in, how do you feel like you guys have kind of integrated one another um, as a team? Um, yeah, I think we're definitely starting to figure it out. Definitely after Minnesota, I felt like we really played great and like well as a team. I mean, there's definitely things that we can get better at and things that we're going to go in there today and practice and continue to get better at. But overall, I feel like our team chemistry and just our, like on the offensive end is starting to come together. and. Yeah, just continuing to be in shape and running the floor and just getting up on defense like we do and like what kind of Kentucky is about. Um, but yeah, I think it's all starting to come together at the right time. So I'm excited to see where this team goes. Yeah, and um, I definitely feel like our bench and our starters both together are producing what we need. So that's a good thing. You can have Petty coming off the bench, getting double doubles, and then our starters doing what they need to do in the game for us. I think everyone's starting definitely to kind of figure out their role and starting to get more comfortable and more confident. Speaking, yeah. speaking of Petty there, just how have you seen her fit with you all and did you expect her to kind of come in and play this well this early as well? Um, yeah, I mean, we always knew what Petty was about. I mean, Petty brings, I mean, that inside presence that we need and just going after and just getting rebounds. And so, yeah, she's been improving every game, as you can see, just like the double-doubles and just playing fierce and just going after it. And that's what we need from her. And, yeah, she's just going to continue to improve and, I mean, get better for us. And, yeah, I'm loving what she's doing right now. We really need that. Jada, you lead – I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you lead the team in scoring. You also lead, I think, the conference in steals. Which one of those do you take a little bit more enjoyment out of, scoring a bucket or stealing the ball? Um, definitely stealing the ball, uh, just because uh, that's my primary thing. That's what I first like came here to do. That's what I was known for: playing defense, picking up the ball, full court, um, pressuring any point guard that brings it down the board, making it hard for them to run their offense. So definitely the steals. Um, I didn't even know I was leaning in steals up until they told me a couple of days ago. So that's really uh, my accomplishment for me. And then going off of like kind of back to the more fair and eloquent role is, Jada, you and Maddie have to complement each other on four high rolls, and you're saying that Maddie sort of likes to set you up and then, you know, make something happen where you are like you're going to make it happen yourself by attacking so much. Through these first eight games, how have you two complemented each other on the floor, and how does it bring out the best of each other, you two? Um, yeah, I feel like with her at point, um, at the beginning of the game, it just, like, gets us in the flow of everything. It helps me not to think as much because I still am a young point guard. She has experience, so she knows what she's doing. And just to like play free the first couple minutes um, at the two position, and then like when the team needs us to switch or someone else needs to bring the ball to the floor, I can do it as well. But just to have two point guards on the floor so it's not just one person like being pressured like up the floor the entire time. We can outlet it to each other. Um, and then other people too that can bring it up like Kennedy or any of our other guards that can do the point position or guard position. And then just for us knowing the plays at every position makes it easier too. So we can go to the three, to the two, wherever coach needs us to go to be successful for that game. Blair, it seems like that there have been like four or five different conflicts with the men's basketball team as you guys were playing. I think Coach Elsie said that you were the one who brought it up to her one time. Uh, there's no conflict this Sunday, so what do you want to tell the people and uh, get them to come out and, and see you guys? Yeah, we definitely need everyone's help to get this win, and we would love to have the energy and just – they make a huge impact for us when we're on the court, and we love to play with our fans. So, yeah, if we can have everyone come out, fill the seats in rough, and just help send me home with a win against Louisville for this year. Blair, how important is it to have, like – the, the start that you have right now, seven and one record. I know you go game by game, but throughout the off season, all these new pieces coming in, and to see it early on, mm -hmm. be able to be working right now. How key was that, and how key is it right now? I mean, throughout the rest of the year. Yeah, I think it's uh, a big key. I think just being able to play bigger competition that we're not really used to in the off season, just to 
kind of see where we are and just kind of give us confidence and just like help us know like oh like we can play with these teams like we're that good like we've been working for this our work is paying off and we're only continuing to get better so I think it is a huge confidence booster but also just shows us shows us like our weaknesses and where we need to get better in the gym every day so yeah I think playing like Louisville and Minnesota and Virginia Tech and like Dayton and stuff have been great games just to prepare us for the SEC. Which road trips have you enjoyed more, Bahamas or Minnesota? Bahamas. Bahamas. I told the whoever <laughs> was recording that day, I was like, we went from vacation to winter wonderland. <laughs> it's it a little cold, <laughs> but it was, it was a good experience. I mean, I've never really been, I've never been to Minnesota, so I think it was cool just kind of getting to see the city and playing on the unique kind of court with the lift, so. And back to the Bahamas, how much has that added to the chemistry and the bonding within the team itself? Oh, I think it's helped tremendously. I mean, we really got to know each other that there and just got to have a good time and kind of have different views and just activities. And yeah, I think we were really able to bond even more. And we just had a lot of fun. We have a lot of personalities on this team. So it's never a dull moment. All right. Thanks, everybody.